Well, it was a fantastic day on Saturday and obviously a fantastic support. What were your thoughts now? It's kind of sunk in a little bit. Yeah, I was um, reflecting on it Sunday. I think I made a little tweet on Sunday night just thanking our supporters. Um, I think it, you know, I mentioned the fact that they made it a special memory. I don't remember an away support in all the years I've managed being that loud and as many. Um, you know, we had some fantastic uh, Sutton away supports in the FA Cup, but never as big as never as big as that. So, no, it was a special day. Um, you know, very proud of the team. As I said, for those first 75 minutes, just a shame that you know when we lost Magri and uh, and Leon, that things fell apart for sort of seven or eight minutes. But overall, a uh, fantastic occasion again for the club. Um, and you know, just getting that first round proper, it's a it's a real good achievement. Obviously, there's been a lot of highs and lows over that weekend. Now, is it back to business as usual? Yeah, well, this is the most important game. I know that might sound odd, but for me, um, you know, we're determined to get into the playoffs this year and finish as high as we can. So, you know, we, we, we always felt that within the staff that Tuesday was a more important game. Obviously, the players, um, rightly so, had that game to enjoy, but no back to business on Tuesday. Tombridge have had a bit of a roller coaster season, win, loss, and draws. Pretty much throughout the whole season, what do you make of the side? Yeah, not dissimilar to us though, is it? You know, we've won five and drawn one, lost four. So I think in this league, anyone beats anyone, and I think that's reflected a lot in in the table as you see it now. Um, obviously, you know, their managers, have, you know, from one of my best friends in football, Steve McKim, was with me for years and was a massive part of our success at Sutton in the early days. So, you know, a huge amount of time for for Steve. Uh, and, and that club, I think that on limited resources, you know, he managed to get them out of the, the Ryman Premier, which in itself was a huge achievement, not recognised enough by, by some people. Um, but him and Barry together, you know, reminds me of me and Macca together. You know, they're a really good team, they work well. Uh, and one thing you know with Steve's teams is that they'll, they'll be organised and uh, they'll be putting a shift in for him. So it's not an easy game tomorrow, but, you know, one that we're, we're sort of looking forward to. After unfortunately losing Sam on Saturday, how is the team shaping up for tomorrow night? And we've lost Leon as well. You know, Leon uh, came off after 77 with a, a sore Achilles. Um, we're not sure if that's you know how bad that is at the moment. He's currently being assessed by the Oxford uh, United physio uh, Manny Adamola, who's a big player for us. Uh, he's had a scan on his groin, um, and he's also with Crawley at the moment being assessed by the Crawley medical team. Benny Reid's had a scan today on his hamstring, um, so again we're expecting that to be another two or three week uh, process. Unfortunately Sam looks really long term, it, it, it's not looking good at all. Um, Sam has a scan tomorrow, but we're thinking it's probably an ACL injury which can be nine months. Uh, Alex Wall uh, has had his scan back and he's partially ruptured his ankle ligament, so again he's looking maybe at six to eight weeks. Um, so it's just been... Uh, you know, it's been a very, very difficult time. We have a squad of 18 here of what we consider you know, good players, but we're down to only 12, which is what we ended up with on Saturday. And so on that basis, we called Theo Widgington back immediately uh, from his loan at Gosport. And, you know, we're hoping that Paul Rooney will recover. You know, he's got tendopathy, uh, Achilles problem. So again, that's why he sort of tends to come on for 20 minutes as and when we need him to. So Rooney's uh, is slowly getting better, but we name him on the bench at the minute as much for the numbers and if we need to try and get 20 minutes out of him we can. Would it be easier now to focus on the league and push for promotion now that the cup runs over? No, I think I've always targeted three things with two being a priority and that's always the league. Um, always try and get whatever club we're at into that first round proper because in itself that's a good achievement. Um, the FA Trophy becomes less important purely because of you know availability, suspensions and injuries as and when that competition starts but the trophy is actually a best bet to, to get to Wembley. Um, so it's always nice if you can do it, but you need a big squad normally to get through in the FA Trophy. Uh, or you know, or be a side that you know a lot of Roman Premier sides and Conference House sides have done well in the latter stages. But for us, you know, it's very clear that you know the absolute goal this year is to get in those playoffs and say oh, if you can't win it, try and win through the playoffs. Um, but it's a minimum requirement at this football club for me that that we make the top seven. Lovely. Thank you very much, Paul. Cheers.